Hello. This is Kelly Hawkins. Pick up with Kelly Hawkins, which is appropriate because it's the morning. Um, it's actually really early. <laughs> I can't believe I woke up this early. I'm ready for um a hair in my mouth. <laughs> it's annoying. Sorry. Yeah. That's the way, you know, a real professional show. They just have hairs in their mouths. Okay. So, thank you for watching my show. I wake up with Kelly Hawkins. I'm Kelly Hawkins. And I'm in a hotel because I went to Nashville yesterday. And it's like a 300 mile drive. And I drove all the way down um, for this concert. It was the. Um, Music City Liberty Fest. And it's like this Ron Paul thing, but there are a lot of um, anarchists there and music. I'm not an anarchist, but I like music. <laughs> um, and I had a good time. After that long drive, I just like, it was not a social day for me yesterday. I just kind of sat by myself and listened to music. I didn't see anyone I knew there. I saw people I recognized from other events and like people, you know, speakers and stuff that I recognize from other events. But, um, and from other places too, you know, like the internet. <laughs> and, um, but um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun, even though I didn't socialize at all. And I, I don't think I spoke to anybody there. <laughs> So maybe the person sitting in front of me, like, grabbed, I was, like, leaning on a chair, and she yanked the chair, and I was like, whoa, but she apologized, which didn't matter. She didn't know I was there. I just, I got short little feet. Well, I got short little legs, I guess, and sometimes they dangle off chairs. They, they weren't really dangling off the chairs there, but still, I like to lift them up a little bit, get a little bit comfortable. I'm going to be somewhere, and it wasn't overcrowded, which was good. They had a huge bar, and I wish I had brought a designated driver so I could have drank. Um, but I didn't, and I didn't know where I was, and I don't drink to drive, really. I didn't even want to dr risk drinking one drink because I didn't know where I was. And, um, but there were some really good bands. Um, Rebel Inc., I've seen them a few times because they play a lot of Liberty shows. They're not my kind of music. Um, there's a Jimi Hendrix cover band. I think they were my favorite. Um, but it like made me sad because I used to have a boyfriend that was in a Jimi Hendrix cover band. So it reminded me of him. So I basically like was missing him <laughs> during that set. Um, and the speakers were good. Not everybody I agree with, 100%. There, some people made good points. Like, um, and it got me thinking, because, like, some of them were saying, don't look for leaders, you know, and that's always how I've been. Because, like, one of the things I say to people about Anarchy. I was like, look, anarchy is not going to work because even little kids, they always pick a leader. And usually, like, most of them will pick a leader. I was one of those people. I wasn't a leader, um, but I'm not a follower. I was always, like, outside of the crowd because that's the way I am. That's just my personality. And it's my son's personality, too. I raised him that way. Um, people in the hotel. But I, I don't believe in, like, looking for leader. That doesn't mean I don't think there should be a government. But I think governments should be servants, not leaders. Attempting to reconnect. Okay, still recording. Lost connection. I'm going to upload this tonight anyways. But, um... Yeah, I think people in government should be servants, not leaders. 
that's backwards. Oh, here I am. I'm streaming again. I lost my... Okay, there we go. It dimmed out a little bit <laughs> on the notebook. Um, obviously. Actually, the only computer I have at the moment. I don't even have a phone computer. Um... Yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I, I believe that people in government are servants and not leaders. And that's, you know, calling them leaders is backwards. And I've even heard some of these um, radio ads for politicians saying, oh, leaders should do this, leaders should do that. I'm like, leaders? You're not leaders. You're servants. We elect you to represent us. You know? You're not my leader. You're my follower. <laughs> if you're in government, you're a follower, not a leader. And I don't think people should be looking for leaders. People should trust themselves and look to God. But, but not look to other people to tell them what to do because, you know, people will do what's in their own best interest most of the time. There are some people that are ethical, but a lot of people aren't ethical. And they will do what's best for them, and they will have you do what's best for them, and not what's best for you. And so I'm in this hotel, kind of like on the way back to Illinois. Um, I, I want to like spend today doing stuff, even though Sunday is not the most optimal thing day because a lot of stuff is closed. But I was like, if I'm going to drive that far, I'm going to make a little mini vacation. And the hotel was like 50 bucks, so it wasn't too bad. I mean, I would have liked to have spent less. <laughs> but this weekend, that's what you get. Oh my gosh, and they have the nicest towels. They have these big white socks. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get a clean one. <clears throat> oh, look. Gigantic. You probably can't really see it on camera, but it's it's big and it's soft and it's nice and I wish I stole things because if I was a thief I would definitely have this <laughs> towel. <tell. laughs> I don't wish I stole things because it's in my religion and anyone who says I do steal things is a huge liar um, and anyone who knows me knows that I don't have a single white towel <laughs> and I lived in hotels for a few months anyways so if I was a thief, I would be having at least one white towel, don't you think? Or a washcloth, and I don't. <laughs> but oh my gosh, they're so soft, it's so nice, I want it. <laughs> I was like surprised. And little cheap hotels like this, they usually have little cheap hotel towels too. Because they know that they get stolen. But I mean like if there was an ink pen or a pad of paper, I would take that because that's complimentary but towels aren't complimentary. Um, yeah, so I had so much fun yesterday, even though I wasn't social at all. And people, like, I don't know, nobody really knew me there. But anyone who did, if they knew me, they would have been like, that's a little strange. Kelly at least talks to one person. I usually pick one person, or they pick me. <laughs> like, they pick me. And, like, just chill with them for like during events um it's usually the way it works like just so I'm not like in awkward situations because I hate being in awkward situations <laughs> but I wasn't in I, mean, I just like by myself chilling I had a good time a lot of it, I think I said this earlier, was because of the drive. I was just like brain dead from that long drive. I painted my nails on the way. <laughs> like I stopped at a rest area and I went to the bathroom. And it was so cool. They had this um, soft American Eagle, bald eagle. It was my height. And there, I was talking to the people at the, um, at the place at the rest area. And they're like, yeah, we got a lot of pictures taken with it. And I wish I had my smartphone. But uh, I don't have one anymore. I had one in storage. I, I need to ask my son about this. Because I had one in storage, and my son got it out of storage to give to me. 
But then he called me and he was like, Mom, and then he said his girlfriend's name. She broke her phone today and she's very, very depressed. She's very, very upset. She had an Android phone and can I give her yours? And I was like, oh, yeah, all right. Because for me to use it, I would have to have it um, flashed and um, that would cost me 50 bucks and it was a $100 phone. Well, it's a $200 phone when I bought it, but it's down to $100 now. And 50 bucks, you know, I could just get my own, get another phone. Although I kind of regret it because I could have used it as a camera and then uploaded my pictures as, on Wi-Fi. And I could also use it as a Wi-Fi device. Um, so I kind of regret giving it away. <laughs> but I did the right thing because... I love my son. That's why. And let's see. I guess that's it. I can't think of anything else that I want to say. I hope I have a good day today. I hope you have a good day today. <laughs> I was like a little concerned about my drive back. You know, I get worried about my car. It's 10 years old. So it's not in perfect shape, and there are issues with it, which is why, because like when I have um, designated drivers, they don't baby my car the way I do, <laughs> so anytime anybody else drives my car, it deteriorates just a little bit, because um, I really baby, I drive like a granny. I like, the more I think about it, I'm so much of a grandma, because everything I do is like grandma-ish. I drive slow like a baby, like the stuff I like, the stuff that grandma's like. The only thing I don't have, and I probably never will because my son doesn't want kids, is a grandchild. <laughs> well, maybe my son will change his mind. Um, he's kind of young anyways, give him another decade. Um, let's see. I guess I covered all, everything I wanted to cover. Thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a nice day, a nice Sunday. And I will see you. Well, I'll, I'm going to try to start broadcasting more, like actual camera. Um, of course, I've been saying that forever, so my intentions are good. <laughs> Just the actual execution um, might not happen. All right. Thank you for watching.